Hey the video nerd here and welcome back to the Streamlabs OBS Master Course. In this class I will show you how you can stream to Facebook, Twitch, Mixer and YouTube all at the same time using Mobcrush Multi-Stream. I had a video on this subject but I was using the Mobcrush application in Streamlabs OBS. Now unfortunately that isn't free anymore since it's part of the Streamlabs Prime membership. However you can do it for free with the Mobcrush Studio outside of Streamlabs OBS and that's what I'm going to explain explain today. I know Streamlabs OBS is in the title and that's because it's the most searched streaming service but you can use whatever program you want with this after you followed the video. So how Mobcrush works is that you stream to their server and then they stream your footage to Twitch, YouTube, Facebook and Mixer at the same time. First things first, go to the Mobcrush Studio page. I have a link on top of my description and to be completely transparent, I do get a commission when you use my link. So if you don't like that, you can search it on Google. But if you want to support me, then I greatly appreciate it. And I will personally thank you in the comments if you let me know. Once you're on the Mobcrush website, you want to click on get started and a new pop-up will open. You can use whatever platform you want to log in. I advise you to choose your main streaming platform right here. I'm going to choose the Video Nerd's Twitch account since I'm setting it up to start streaming as the Video Nerd on Twitch. If you would like to watch me someday, then make sure to follow me on twitch.tv slash the Video Nerd YouTube. So here we are on the Mobcrush dashboard. You can start with adding your streaming accounts right here. So I'm going to add my YouTube, Facebook and Mixer account. You can disable them separately if you only want to stream to two or three of them. As a fifth option, you see that you can enable or disable Mobcrush and I will show you what this is exactly. When you go to mobcrush.com, you see that they created some kind of streaming platform. There's also a new tab and this is where you will be showing up when you create a new Mobcrush account and you start streaming. There's also a popular tab for, you guessed it, popular streams. So if you don't want to show up here, you will have to disable the mob crush option right here on your stream dashboard. Before streaming to the Mobcrush servers, you will have to set up your broadcast specifics right here on the right. If you stream to Mixer and you have mature content, then make sure to enable this checkbox. Then choose your game category, your broadcast title and your description so you are ready to go. Now Mobcrush has a bunch of interesting features which you definitely need to know about if you're going to use the app, but I will show you how to go live first. On the bottom in the streaming tab, you can find your stream stream key and an ingest URL. These are the two things we will need in Streamlabs OBS. If you haven't set up your stream properly, you can watch my full 30 minutes tutorial on Streamlabs OBS because it's very detailed and it tells you everything you need to know from the settings to the graphics to everything. Let's go to Streamlabs OBS, then on the left to the settings and then to the stream tab. Change the stream type to custom streaming server and then you can add your URL and your stream key right here. So go to the Mobcrush dashboard, copy the ingest URL and paste it into Streamlabs OBS. Then go back to the Mobcrush dashboard and then click on show to see your stream key and also copy and paste that into Streamlabs OBS. Now when you click on go live at the bottom in Streamlabs OBS, you will start streaming to the Mobcrush servers and then they will stream your footage to Twitch, YouTube, Facebook and Mixer. But what about the chat? Well, that's a great question. Let's go back to the Mobcrush dashboard. On the bottom, you can click on pop out unified chat. You will probably get a notification that you need to request permission for Twitch. Click on it and then in the next window that pops up, click on authorize. Now click on continue and you're done. Now the next time you click on pop up unified chat, a new window will show up. And once you go live, you will see your chat appearing right here from all your streaming services all in one place. You can also make money with Mobcrush. Let's go to the make money tab on the left. Mobcrush has an affiliate program and they are giving out $1 for each person who signs up using your link and goes live one time. To find your own affiliate link, just click on manage links and payouts and you will see your link right there. 
To promote your link just go to your dashboard on Mobcrush and then on the right add this link to your description saying I'm streaming to 4 platforms at once using Mobcrush multi-stream, check it out yourself and then add your link right there. Now this description is only for Facebook and YouTube so on Mixer and Twitch you will have to make a banner or add a piece of text saying the exact same thing. If you would like me to create a promotion banner for this then just ask me in the comments and I will make one and link it in the description. There are other ways to make money with Mobcrush through campaign offers but I'm not going into detail on that because it's a whole different video. You can check out an explanation of that on the Mobcrush blog so just search for Mobcrush campaigns on Google. If you want to see what your most powerful platform is, how big your total reach is etc, you have to go to the creator profile. On the left click on creator profile and then click on your creator profile. There you will see a clear overview. I'm using some dummy social accounts and I haven't streamed yet using Mobcrush multi-stream so you will not see any detailed statistics right here but it's a great asset. If you want to set up your creator profile on Mobcrush or change the look when checking out your statistics, you can set up your profile picture, banner, description, location and language in the creator profile tab if you want. Then on the left you see action replays and this is an amazing feature but it's still in beta and only available for a few games but these games are Fortnite, Apex Legends, Rocket League and PUBG so that's a big chunk of the streamers out there. This feature automatically captures your best moments in these games so you can show them live on stream while waiting for the next game to start. Now to set this up you will need to have a browser source in your streaming program to show the footage. I will show you how to do this in Streamlabs OBS. Click on the green launch button and then choose your streaming platform, so Streamlabs OBS in our case. In the table you see the settings which you need to apply to your browser source. Now let's go to Streamlabs OBS and add a new source. Choose browser source, name it something like action replay and then add the source. Now copy the URL from Mobcrush and paste it in your browser source. Then set your width to 1280, your height to 720, check the use custom frame rate box, choose 60 fps, don't change the custom CSS, uncheck the next two checkboxes and then click on done. Now you can right click the browser source and then go to transform, fit to screen to make it full screen. Once that's done, go back to the Mobcrush website and click on open control panel. When you play games and the action replay saves highlights, they will appear right here. You can then select the one you want to show and play it on stream. On the bottom you can also see that you can make a playlist and then show them all at once when you press play. You can also choose where you want to show them on the screen, on the left, in the middle or on the right. And at last you can change the speed at which they play right here. Then after streaming you can check your stats for each stream in the stats tab but that's pretty straightforward I guess. Now my Streamlabs OBS master course playlist contains up to date tutorials on how to set up your stream, how to upgrade your stream. I'm updating it all the time so if you're interested in Streamlabs OBS make sure to check out the playlist and I will see you in there.